Welcome to Yearbook Spirit Week. I'm Touch. And I'm Jessica. We are for Wednesday, October 9th, 2019. Please stand for the pledge. Today is National Teddy Bear to School Day and College Day for Spirit Wear. Your lot options for today are hot dogs, coney dogs, or brunch for lunch. Your sides are baked apple, fresh fruit, or a veggie tray. And today's news, Disney has just released the first trailer for the live-action Mulan movie. This is yet another live-action film that is based on the original cartoon movie. The special effects should make this motion picture look very realistic. And other news, Emily Zamarka. Zamarka, a homeless subway singer, was recently recognized and performed at the Little Italy Celebration. Here to see it in with, the, with her story. She's been singing in L.A. subway for years. This is the only one thing I got left. A chance meeting just changed her life. I see this police officer walking towards me from a distance and uh, kind of hesitated me because you know how they are. They don't really want you to, to make any nuisance uh, anywhere right. and opera is loud. He loved it, filmed it, the department posted it. More than a million people saw it, and a little more than a week later, Emily Zamorka got her first gig. They're going to pay me, and pay me very well, for me performing. Who am I? Who am I? On Saturday, she sang in San Pedro's Little Italy, earned 700 bucks. I wish I could give hugs to each and every one. Zamorka, a trained violinist, came here from Russia in her 20s. Illness, medical bills, the theft of her beloved violin, all led to a life on the streets. A homeless charity has now reached out to help, and $60,000 and counting donated on GoFundMe. She just met, hugged, and thanked that LAPD officer who filmed her. I can't believe this is that and a Grammy-winning producer now wants to work with her. The biggest ever, what's the opposite word for tragedy? <laughs> I mean, because, I wanted to bring that word correctly. We have some people saying, this story is too good to be true. You look too clean. This is for real, and, and just because you're homeless, you don't have to go around stinky and dirty. I would just put it this way. It's my dignity. What do you want? I mean, you want somewhere to live? Yes, I do, and I do. I wish that I could just have this kind of place that it will be, it will be for a long time on my own. That voice, all she had left, might now make that wish come true. Nick Watt, CNN. Los Angeles. Finally, Ellen DeGeneres recently was criticized for sitting next to former President George Bush at the ball game. She she had a response to her to the tweets on her show. Here to CBC with the video. You're watching Sunday's Cowboys Packers game. You may have seen a shot of Ellen sitting with mm -hmm. former President Bush. Well, people voice their opinions on Twitter, not all of them exactly nice, and mm. Ellen responded recently on her show. People were upset. They thought, why is a gay Hollywood liberal sitting next to a conservative Republican president? Didn't even notice I'm holding the brand new iPhone 11. And, um, <laughs> But a lot of people were mad, and they did what people do when they're mad. They tweet, and, uh, but here's one tweet that I loved. This uh, person says, Ellen and George Bush together makes me have faith in America again. And, um, exactly. Here's the thing. I'm friends.
friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different, and I think that we've forgotten that that's okay that we're all different. Just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. Doesn't matter. Amen. Amazing. Preach. Life a lesson preach. from Ellen. Yeah. Crazy. Like yeah. we've lost a simple message yeah. of life. Mm. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, Appropriate yeah. since it's kindness week too. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yes. Not the Diana, it's sports and weather. Thank you, Todd and Jessica. Today will be a high of 74 degrees with a low of 53 degrees. The humidity will make it feel like a cool day. Today, girls soccer will play at Fall Creek at 5.15 and the boys soccer will play at 6.30. Both games are at LC. Girls golf will play away and volleyball will, volleyball will play at 5.15 at Lawrence North. Girls basketball will have an open gym and conditioning today and next week. Students must have a physical on file in the athletic office. Boys basketball drives begin next Monday. They must also have a physical on file. Any students not passing at least six classes of their first grading period report card will not be eligible to play until the second nine weeks midterm report. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Diana. Yearbook Spirit Week continues today as College Gear Day. Tomorrow's theme will be Maroon and Gray Day. Wear your school spirit clothing. If you forget to bring your money for a shirt yesterday, you can buy a shirt and see one ten any day this week. Ms. Charter will give you a pass to class, and shirts are $13 and $15. This is the last week's shirts will be on sale. You can also order a yearbook or start a payment plan this week. Here's a a quick commercial and ad about the yearbook. Yeah. What you guys doing this weekend? Nothing was, really. Movies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Yeah. yeah. Might go to school too. Just extra curricular activities. Wait, so what's the point of this? This year's yearbook is awesome. It has lots of new things. I'm pretty old with it. Well, it is a lot of money, but it's worth it. Yeah, he's right. I've ordered one too. Okay, I'll get one. You can go to Shimon 10 to get the order. Samantha's right. Yearbooks are boring. Are you trying to bake? Bake what? Never mind. Just buy a yearbook. Just yearbooks before they run out. Yo. 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 Buy a yearbook. 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 Y
If you've not ordered a yearbook yet, be sure to do that this uh, week. You saw my message. You'd be crazy not to get one. Make sure you get one ordered. Uh, T-shirts are also for sale this week. And guys, remember, tomorrow is Maroon and Gray Day. I would love to see our school spirit uh, beaming brightly tomorrow with lots of maroon and gold from our teaching staff as well as our students. Students today in the building, we've got a few teachers that are out for, for professional development and some other reasons, so we do have some guest teachers in the building. I'm just going to give you a reminder, my expectations for great behavior today. Please make sure that you're helpful with your guest teachers today. We appreciate them being here, um, and so we're going to make sure we treat them with the utmost respect and that we are leaders in the classroom today when there is a substitute teacher. Uh, finally, as we end here uh, this morning, make sure students that you check out the launch page. There is a very brief survey that has been put out by students in the yearbook and they want your feedback about what you want to see in the school yearbook. So there is, we're going to show you here in just a second, if you scroll down right there, yearbook school survey. If you don't get a chance to do it this morning during college prep, you can do it any time throughout the day today, but it will close tonight. So please make sure that you get an opportunity. Take that quick survey. Our yearbook staff would appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day.